Beyond the starkness of all this, a town destroyed, it is the silence which hits you. There is nothing left here. Greenville, California, population 1,000, swept away in the largest single forest fire this state has ever seen. It's only when you see it up close that you get a real sense of the level of destruction here. This is Main Street and in almost every corner this town has been completely destroyed by the fire. Businesses, livelihoods, homes, all of them, all gone. The people whose town this was were almost all evacuated, but most have lost everything. The local restaurant is only recognisable by the tables and chairs still set. The town's businesses are marked by their metal filing cabinets. With all this around, you look for hope. And around the corner, by some miracle, there was some. One house survived, not a scratch. It belongs to Sherry and Terry Wirt. Oh my gosh! Terry, you gotta come. Oh, oh, it looks perfect. The residents are not allowed back yet, and honestly, most won't want to see the destruction. But it is a boost, certainly, for these two. It's, it's amazing how it's completely unscathed, and you can see your um, your wind vane over there is uh, is still going yeah. round. The wind catcher, oh, fantastic! It's an hour down to the town where the evacuees now wait. Terry and Sherry among them. Our home is still there, and. We're one of the very few lucky people, and my heart just goes out to her community. But they say these fires are avoidable if the forests had been better managed as the weather becomes more extreme. Now it's an annual thing. It ruins every summer. It takes people's homes away. It's taken people's lives. So it's a combination of, of bad forest management mm -hmm. and, and, and that the climate is changing. And, and then, yeah, exactly. It, it the, I mean, it's a tinderbox. We have no, we're not getting near amount of the Look, rain so. precipitation that we used to get, nor the snowpack, even up high. This is happening year on year. Is it the case that they're not gonna, you're not going to be able to live there in the future? It's just not sustainable? We're gonna no, I don't believe that. I don't believe, I believe that at all. The viability of communities like this does feel ever more precarious and dependent on our relationship with the environment, local and global. Mark Stone, Sky News in California.